Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and in today's video we are going to talk about how to save and manage money when using the various dining options at Denison. This video is brought to you by the Financial Wellness Office. At Denison, there's five traditional meal plan options that students can choose from. Those options include Big Red, The Hill, West Loop, Olmstead, and West College. All of these options have various pros and cons. One thing to keep in mind when choosing a plan is which has the appropriate amount of flex dollars for you. Students can use flex dollars for purchases as the balance declines. Flex dollars not used during the fall semester will roll to the student's spring semester meal plan, and unused flex dollars are forfeited at the end of the academic year. Each of the declining meal balance plans have a specific amount of flex dollars that students can use to purchase all of their on-campus meals. These plans provide the most flexibility. The Hill, which is the default first year plan, includes 1,805 flex dollars. Students should average about 16 meals per week using this plan. The Olmsted plan includes 1,555 flex dollars. Students should average about 14 meals per week using this plan. For the West Loop option, this plan combines the flexibility of the declining balance concept with the more traditional dining hall experience. The plan includes 430 flex dollars and 10 meal swipes per week. Dining Dining hall meal swipes do not affect the flex dollars balance. Students should average about 14 meals per week using this plan. For the West College option, this plan includes 1,355 flex dollars. Students should average about 12 meals per week using this plan. One thing to keep in mind when you're spending your meal swipes on food and other stuff is to be aware of splurges and to just think ahead of time. So for example, $8 at Curtis or Hoffman goes a long way as both dining halls are all you can eat, while $8 at Slater, The Nest, or The Coffee Shop might just be one item. Here I have a picture of the apartment alternative meal plans. So for the 1831 meal plan, you have 1,390 flex dollars available, and you should average 12 meals a week. For the reserve, you have 1,230 flex dollars, and you should average 11 meals a week. When you're looking at these particular plans, you should consider the cost of purchasing groceries, so that includes the actual food you're buying, transportation, and time. For transportation, you should consider, are you using an Uber or Lyft, or are you using your own car? Do you need to buy gas as well? Um, and then in terms of food, are you going to the local grocery store? Are you going to Target or the farmer's market? Um, many have said that IGA, which is our local grocery store, is a bit more expensive. So those are all things to keep in mind when using these apartment alternative plans, simply because a lot of people tend to make their own meals um, in supplementing and supplement with this plan. And if you were wondering how can you change your meal plan, you can change your meal plan up to four times during the first two weeks of the semester, and you can just access this through the My Denison portal. If you're looking to save time and money, you could also visit the on-campus food pantry. The pantry has worked really hard this year to provide students with popular food options that can make an entire meal. So if you're interested, I'd say that's something you should definitely check out. I'm very excited to let you all know that our school is working on a meal money management system. This app will help students manage their money and allow for us to check up on our total in an easier manner. I wanted to learn more about this upcoming app, so I interviewed someone from Bon Appetit. And now I will play that interview so you all can be privy to that information. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Hannah, and I'm here with Miss Pugh from Bon Appetit. And today we are going to be talking about a new and exciting thing that's coming to Denison, um, which is an app um, that will kind of help Denison students better manage their meal swipes. So. Um, Ms. P, would you like to further introduce yourself before we begin? 
Hi, I'm Jennifer, and I am the catering manager with Bon Appetit. And um, we've been working to kind of put some stuff together for you guys that we're really excited about. Great, thank you. Um, could you kind of continue on and like briefly describe the app and some of its functions? Yeah, so um, the app is gonna be called the Get Funds app. And basically it will be a way for people to check in on their meal plans, kind of see what they have left, um, and help students kind of manage their funds a little bit better. Great, thank you. Um, what inspired Denison to bring this app to students? Um, it was mostly listening to students' needs and um, kind of hearing what they were wanting, um, but also noticing that students needed some help managing their meal plans sometimes. You know, we've got some students that get to the end of the semester and realize that they're out of money and sometimes they're like, man, I don't know how that happened. Um, so mostly wanting to help them kind of manage what their meal plans look like a little bit better. Mm, okay, um, kind of building off of that, does this plan, I mean, this app have any uh, planning or like budgeting features that are built into it? Um, so a little bit. So right now what we have is the weekly budgeting plan that you can find at the cashier stands. It's kind of a chart that shows you what week we're on, what meal plan you have, and then how much money you should have left if you're equally distributing your money across the semester each week. Um, and so this will kind of put that into app form, which is going to be a lot easier for students to read and look at and, um, and use overall. Definitely. Okay. Um, and you, you kind of mentioned this, but so I know a lot of the time students will um, kind of have a friend like help them out. Does this app kind of make that process smoother through in-app transfers or like something like that? That is something that we're still working on. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible yet, um, but we will hopefully have some answers on that soon. Mm, that's exciting. Okay. Um, can students add money onto their cards from the app? Um, yes, the plan right now is to be able to do that. Uh, and then this is kind of similar to the question I asked before, but what do students do with leftover meal swipe slash D dollars once they have this app? So the meal plans, um, the plan is not for this change, but right now the way it works is that in the fall, what you have leftover rolls over into the spring and then in the spring, what you have, um, you just lose, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, so right on a separate program um, that should be launching in the spring and we'll have more information on soon, but it will be a meal slice donation program where you can kind of like what you were saying before, um, donate a meal, but it wouldn't necessarily be directly to a friend. It would be to someone who um, is struggling to provide food for themselves for the semester. So that's going to be one option um, that will be available. And then, um, unfortunately, I don't think the rollover policy is going to change between um, spring to the fall semester. Hmm. Okay, that's very exciting. Yeah, we are definitely looking forward to that. Okay. Um, is there anything that we haven't covered uh, through my questions that you think students should know or anything you'd like to reiterate or emphasize about this app? or even the, the plan coming in the spring with the um, kind of donation pile? Yeah, so um, we will hopefully have more information closer to the spring and um, we're excited about this new program that we're hoping to roll out in the spring as well um, to help with food insecurity. But as of right now, no uh, solidified plans on that quite yet, but we are definitely looking forward to this app and we are hoping that it helps students um, just kind of budget and plan and keep a track of their expenses a little bit better. I'm excited. I can't wait to use this one. Um, it's out and running. Yeah. <laughs> um, those were all my questions. So, <laughs> um, and thank you for meeting with me. Of course, thank you for chatting. I was gonna say sitting down and chatting with me, but that's not really the proper term anymore. Thank you for <laughs> getting all and chatting. <laughs> In my interview with Ms. Pugh, she mentioned another exciting program that is coming to Denison very soon. That program is the Big Red Promise. 
the Big Red Promise is going to be a system where students can donate leftover swipe slash meal money and will go to students who need more. Once a month, a dining committee will have a swipe donation drive where students can donate swipes. This program will be set up on My Denison, and students will have an application that is need-based. Students who are looking to donate should be able to donate up to three swipes a semester. Denison will manage this program and Bon Appetit will take care of the transfer of swipes. Um, just to let you know, Bon Appetit will not be privy to any of the student information, just in case you are wary due to privacy issues. That should not be an issue at all. This program is being developed with the help of the organization Swipe Out Hunger. Swipe Out Hunger is an organization that works to combat student hunger. And if you're curious and want to learn more about Swipe Out Hunger, the link to their website, their official website, will be down below in the description box. That concludes this video. Thank you all for watching. Please stay tuned by following our Instagram. Um, if you want to learn more, feel free to go to our website as well as listen to our Spotify podcast or for more information, you can also watch more videos on this YouTube channel. But thank you all for watching and have a nice day.